A historic site in South Australia will be a key trading piece to secure the expansion of the Osborne shipyard. Monique van der Hayden reports. A cooperation agreement signed by the South Australian and Federal Government will see the Keswick Army Barracks fall into state hands. The acquisition of the historic site, built in 1913, will be part of a land swap to ensure the redevelopment of the Osborne Naval Shipyard gets underway as soon as possible. Defence will receive the state-owned land surrounding the Osborne Shipyard, allowing for the expansion of the site. And I want to emphasise that our intent is to build this capacity as soon as possible, which will see the construction of the yard happen immediately, and this land exchange today forms the beginning of that. This is happening right now. The agreement will also ensure a state and federal commitment to training future generations to build the AUKUS submarines. A skills and training academy will be built on the Osborne Naval Shipyard on the newly acquired defence land, with consultation from industry experts and unions. Premier Peter Malinowskis boarded a flight to the UK on Wednesday, where he will visit the borough in Furnace Shipyard, which is already home to a training and naval skills academy. And at any one time, there are approximately 2,000 students embedded within the academy. We need to replicate that here in South Australia. And we don't have a moment to lose. The Commonwealth will also allocate an additional 800 places to South Australian universities over the next four years, focusing on STEM subjects. The first 200 places will be commencing in 2024. This is about ensuring that we have a capacity to uh, provide a greater likelihood of stability and peace in our region. But to do so, we need to invest in skills in order to provide the capability and the capacity for the defence industry to produce these remarkable defence assets. Questions were also directed at Defence Minister Richard Miles regarding the potential location of a nuclear waste dump that will be needed once the submarines are completed. Two locations in South Australia, Kimber and Woomera, have been thrown around as suitable locations, but Mr Miles ensured the facility will be built on defence land. It is a big decision. I, I don't want to uh, play it down. Uh, but to be clear, the, the, the first of the reactors that we will need to dispose of will be in the mid-2050s. So we've got time to prepare for this. And as we've said, we will, we've made the commitment that that facility will be on defence land. Kimber is already set to be home to the nation's first nuclear waste facility, but will only be storing low to intermediate levels of nuclear waste. Local MP Rowan Ramsey says the facility in Kimber would not be suitable to house high-level waste like nuclear reactors.